I relocated to the UK in 2014 and um, I'm now permanently based in the UK but when I relocated I had no network so that makes it even harder to find opportunities to find clients I had no base in the UK whatsoever before moving um, and I didn't move my team with me from Saudi Arabia so I had to relocate obviously I had I had other bigger challenges um, in terms of getting my UK passport and that was a, a massive struggle the few friends that I had around me in the UK knew how much uh, how much of a, a struggle it is it was to get the UK passport even though I was born here but everything was put on hold including my company setting up my company and so I couldn't practice professionally I couldn't I wasn't legally allowed to practice in the UK for a while when I came so that's like that left me with basically starting from zero again. While we were working on the Saudi project and um, you've seen us scout in the antique market and like um, as we were about to wrap up the concept design, uh, something came up about whether they are willing to break down, to terminate some uh, walls and, and like rearrange the lighting layout for example because they realize that we are actually doing interior architecture it's not just furniture I have uh, Luke and Anya here hi, say hi. Luke, hi Anya uh, she still calls you Anya <laughs> I, I guess they call her Anya uh, what's her name? Ananya. 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 Sorry. Ananya. <laughs> can you get this um, 3D part. If you can just keep it still, please. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Can you see it? Yeah. Did you see Ananya? Check, check the chairs out. They're looking oh, good, they're no? Nice. And then the lights. The lights. I, I feel bit. with the lights. I feel like we might need more, though. Yeah, I think we have to see how much budget. Yeah. We have. Uh, let's. Okay. Um, Let's decide on the wall, and also the floor it looks the a bit darker than what it is yeah, in real life. Yeah, it is, it is a bit darker than the Hadabas, but then with the light it changes, that's the thing. It's What's a bit darker and it's not polished. Okay. You know, the problem with SketchUp that you cannot get the reflection, but I'm going to change the saturation for this and the, uh, and the concrete. Yes. So basically we had like a column that is like a very irregular shape. It's like a cross. Mm -hmm. And so what we tried to do is to make it more minimal and cover it up and do like a whole like wall instead of having this like uh, weird shaped column. And then now that she visualized it and did the 3D, this looks too bulky to me. So uh, Atika, can you remove it now just to show what yeah, <laughs> <sorry. laughs> your camera what it does? Wait, no. <laughs> uh, now I, I couldn't uh, redo it, sorry. I need to do this. Sorry about that. We just want to show the difference. So yeah. this is how it looked before, but it's also there's a section here that we need oh, to remove. Yeah, just, but so now nice. it looks a bit slimmer and it looks neater. I think I, I'd rather do this. But the chairs look really nice. Yeah. Are we going to have it like padded or just like a plain color? Off-white. Yeah, what do you mean? Upholstery. Yeah, the upholstery like that. It has lines. Is that just for the drawing? Oh no, that's just, like just for the drawing. So They're so nice. I'm actually today we have the meeting with the with the manufacturer. We're taking off some of the furniture they were meant to produce because of the price, because we found cheaper alternatives. But I think if we were to remove the sofa, then we can add other things to your list. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's fine. But uh, so the other news that you it's might not like, mm -hmm. it's that we really want to do the chairs and dining with you more than anything else. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why? The, because they are just beautiful as we designed them and we couldn't okay. find And this is why I come to you guys. <laughs> Because we couldn't the find chairs, anyone the who chairs could do that. Or do we have it? Oh, we don't have it printed. Yeah, it was on the document. Oh, that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say chairs are uh, like we do them well, but they're not our strength. Oh yeah. The sofas are more our strength. I think you can do them. <laughs> I believe in you. 
I believe in you. <laughs> I think you guys can do them. Because okay. we, like, we'd rather you don't do the rest, but this, this the is best. a priority. Like okay. this and the table. The dining room is our priority. Okay, with you guys. okay, okay. Because we need to figure out how to do this beautiful chair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me look. We can do it. It's fine. I'm pretty sure you can do it. We can do it. We just and need then the to... table is this design, but with different dimensions. So okay. I'll show you. The table's no problem. The light. We need to render the light in. How gorgeous is this combination? If they move somewhere else, mm. so it needs to be a piece that they've invested in and mm. they can take with them anywhere. Yeah. That's true. It's yeah. Okay. That's um, fine. If we do the headboard, the sofa, and maximize on on doing more product, we'll give you a discount over the whole show. I have product that we make because we enjoy making it, and then it becomes a product going forward, and we put a lot of effort into it because yeah, it's part of a bigger picture. But this will become a product for me to use exactly. with my clients, and once exactly. you have the template right. I can ask you oh, to do it for other with other exactly, clients. Exactly. So, I mean, we're trying to sign another client now. Since we're gonna have a bigger guest room, she's wondering if we can do the Moroccan theme and like make it into like a private living room. Okay. <clears throat> um, so, I think. I think at this stage I probably need to tell her about the plan to do the outside because she's like, yeah. I really love this theme yeah, and I really want to have it and so maybe we Wait. suggest that or we do that, we do yeah, what she so says. Exactly, so why don't we say like, oh, here is what we were planning. But then if you really want this, we still, inside, I think, yeah. I still think it would be good to do it. So I think I'll let them do that and then send me a drawing of and then what we'll is the yeah because we haven't even gone to Saudi or seen the site so I can't really tell if it's um which part is which hello 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 my lovely how are you sorry oh. but just finished lunch no problem oh uh, i'm good i would have rescheduled for you but i have another meeting no, after no, no. okay and then the kitchen, we're not going to break the wall. So no angled walls? No angled walls. Okay, that's fine. This is just our, our design proposal, but we haven't ordered anything. A lounge will stay as it is, an office has it for Okay, so then we won't have a bar, we're just going to have lounge seating. Is that what you want? No, I need a bar. Like okay. We can keep the bar area. We not the seating area around it. Okay, so small seating around the bar area. Yeah, exactly. And then the dining room, we're gonna use the big space for it. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, exactly. Um, okay, I have a few questions. Can we add a wall to that angled wall just to add um, to add like a cabinet for for the cloak room? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Anyway, anyway, we can do that. So maybe we add a wall, but we don't break okay. anything. <laughs> let me figure it out, but like, this is off the top of my head. We can't put the mini bar against the door. Okay. So we'll have to change it and put it on the other side of the L shape. Whichever side we're removing that is against the wall. We'll put a unit, like... Okay, I'll get back to you on that. Okay. All right. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay, lovelies. Bye. Take Bye. care. Bye. Bye. I'm just gonna call in Anya to come here and give her the bad news. So what was that? The just changing everything. Yeah, half this, half the work we've done is not gonna Go happen. Ahead, but it, she seems stressed out, so I'm telling her, "Don't worry, we got this. Yeah, <laughs> we got this." No, we really do. I, I mean, I'm still going to give her an amazing house regardless of whether we change this or not. So we're going to keep the bar and definitely we're going to get the one in the vintage market because it's smaller. Because yep. now she wants also furniture in that room. 
So um, we're gonna keep the bar, but that means like there's no breakfast table, so that furniture is gonna go, and we're gonna save up a lot of money. There's no like her, and the shippings and her lounge is not gonna go, and the shipping is not included. Well done, you're paying attention. <laughs> By the way, Luke is like on it with the design as well. <laughs> he's like, Look at him. He's best. like, part of the he team. knows what's happening. Exactly. <laughs> Surprisingly. Um, I have bad news. Her mesh list, her lounge, which Atika started yeah. doing, is not going to happen. At all? At all. It's going to be too, everything is going to be closed up, like small cubicle or rooms. Like, this is going to be the dog house. She has a puppy and she wants like a room for him. So it's gonna be his room, okay. um, and then his study is not gonna be here. Yeah, this is shocking. It's gonna be where the lounge was. Right, here. and where's the lounge going? And then they want the lounge here with the bar, so we definitely we'll get the bar from the antique market because it's smaller. Yeah. So she said just a couple of furniture pieces here. So then they had to pause and, and make some decisions whether they would want to, because the house is already built, so whether they would want to change how, how much are they willing to break down and, and how much work are they willing to do. So they've taken their time um, to think about that. Meanwhile, I get contacted by this lovely girl I met in New York, um, not last summer, the summer before, before COVID. <laughs> Um, and I met her at a dinner and she had mentioned once that she would love to get, uh, you know, to get an interior designer, to work with an interior designer on one of her properties and, and so she contacted me and said she's moving, um, she has a baby girl now and her and her family are moving to the UK, back to the UK and they have this place in Tillamore Place and they wanted us to design it but she was a bit intimidated by the fact that it's a small project so she said it's it's an FF&E she it, she explained to me that she only wants to like change uh, furniture and fittings and not complete like interior architecture and so that and then we had a few discussions the same thing I sent her a mood board and we signed in July Before we commence the design process with our clients, we do a little exercise called style analysis and it helps us identify their taste, their personality, their preferences, uh, and it's basically seven different uh, folders uh, or columns of images. Um, all these visuals um, represent different categories in life, it doesn't have to be interior design related. So for example, you have food, you have different styles of bikes, coffee makers, chairs so it could be a, a variety of visuals and based on their selection they have to choose one image of each category and based on their selection I work on the mood board and that's how we develop the design with them and so that was a month after the Saudi project and the deadline was five weeks and, and this is the catch 